friends welcome to engineering stuff in the first class of autocad we will see some basic setting of autocad to start autocad just click on template and then acad.dwt this is our home screen of the autocad and this is our crosshair for some basic settings just click on icon of autocad and then click on option after this some setting information will appear related to file display and many more options as we can see that in display option there is an option of crosshair size in this we can change the size of crosshair as per user design let me in much bigger size and click ok now we can see that size of crosshair convert into bigger size this is our bigger crosshair size for this change it into default size let's go to option and let me in some medium size because i use medium size crosshair Now we will see some changes. In user preference, there is an option of right click customizations. In this, as we seeing that there is some time sensitive right click option. If we turn it on, then the right click of the mouse function as enter within 250 milliseconds. And if we turn it off or after 250 milliseconds, it will work as the dashboard. Click on apply and close. In drafting, we can change the size of auto snaps, marker, and apertures. As we can see that. Similarly, we change the size of grape and the pick box. Go to the selection. Now click on apply and OK. Here we can change the size of pick box and selection just apply and ok let moves further this is a grid mode grid mode and its shortcut is F7 if we turn off then the grid will disappear as we can see that the grid is disappeared now turn it on and grid will appear again now there is a snap mode we will discuss it in next class now there is ortho mode this is ortho mode let me discuss, discuss it with an example. Let draw a line when ortho mode is off. As we can draw it at any angle. But when we turn it on, as you can see that we can draw it at any angle. But when we turn it on, and want to draw a line then we see that we want to draw a line then we can see that the line either completely horizontal or completely vertical if we click on any point of the other line then it will show some angle we will see in this that we are going to click on this line then it only show some angle otherwise it will show only either horizontal or vertical let me select it and delete let me see it again when ortho mode is of we can draw a line at 
any angle as we can see it now let's see iso drafting this is our iso drafting tool if we turn it on then the view of the display will change as we can see it it change into small dots let me turn it off now we can see auto snap yeah this is the option of auto snap let it turn on and draw a line we are drawing a line in this we can see that a green box appear yeah this is due to the auto snap mode when it is on a green box and the green lines will appear if we want to align it then snap on the point and come down and escape let's select and if we turn auto snap mode off then we see that snap features has disappeared like in this when we want to a particular point align with that line the it is not showing it is because auto snap mode is off but when we again turn it on the green line will show as we can see in it a green line will show so friends it is due to the ortho uh, auto snap now we come to some other tools like o snap it is used to for object snap as we can see that there are many options like end point mid point centers intersection and many other points so these are just to show points <coughs> the tick profiles are active let me deactivate some profiles like midpoint and center and now now let's we draw a rectangle as we can see that the midpoint and the centers are deactivated and if we want to draw another line to the midpoint then it will not show the midpoint mark as we can so the midpoint is deactivated and i want to draw a line from this line a midpoint of this line then the midpoint will not show as you can see this is the sign of nearest so friends for the midpoint we have to just click on it and now midpoint will be activated now this this is the sign of midpoint in this we can see that a midpoint has shown and now from there we can draw another line so this is the feature of the o snap similarly with the case of other also like centers intersections parallels let me take an example of center also just go to o snap center my first center is deactivated i'm going to draw a circle and i want to draw another circle with the same center but this center is not showing so friends for that we have to activate the center point we have activate it and now let's see this is our center and from here we can draw another cent circle here it is and we want to draw another circle now from this center we can draw it it is right now selected and when we deselect it it is still showing it because previously i have selected 
That's why it's showing center. So we can use O snap for the snapping purpose, either for the end point, mid point, center, intersection, parallel lines. We can use it. So these are the feature of the O snap. These are the some basic features. Select it and we are going to delete. Let active the center also. So friends, these are some basic settings of 2D. For 3D views, we have to just go to workspace. Right now we are working in drafting and annotations for the 2D view. For 3D, we have to click on 3D basics. So 3D features will occur. These are some basic tools of the 3D box, extrusion, revolve, block, sweep. We will discuss further in other classes also. Let me check and uh, select a box. We are going to draw a box. Specify it length, breadth, and now it asks for the height. Just specify it. As we can see that it is showing 2D view for 3D. Just click on shift and then on the middle beam of the mouse and rotate it for the solid just click on conceptual now we can see that the so solid view has been appeared and for the 2d wires we just go and select it so we will discuss some in other class also uh, in 3d Similarly, in the case of 3D modeling also, the tools almost are same. So friends, these are some basic settings related to AutoCAD. In next class, we will see some settings related to using of mouse. Right, right now I am spinning in 3D view how to change it from 2D to 3D means from XY plane to XYZ plane how to zoom in how to zoom out how to span this is pan so in the next class we will see how to use our mouse ok thank you Just hit the subscribe button and like button. Also, don't forget to share with your friends.